What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be building a DIY data analyst curriculum using Udemy for under $75. Now, when I first started learning the skills to become a data analyst, I found Udemy and I stuck with it for a long time because I just didn't have a lot of money and I wanted really good courses. And that's what you find on Udemy. Now, almost anybody can go on Udemy and become an instructor and create a course. So that doesn't mean that every single course on Udemy is good. So I'm going to show you the ones that I would recommend for each skill, starting with SQL then Excel. Power BI, Tableau, and Python, and then you'll have your own data analyst curriculum that you can take at your own pace and learn the skills that you need to become a data analyst. Before we jump onto my screen and take a look at these courses, I want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that is Udemy. They have some of the best courses at the best prices, so be sure to check out the link in the description if you want to check out any of the courses in this video. So without further ado, let's jump onto my screen and take a look at these courses. Now, SQL is the very first skill that I recommend learning as a data analyst. I you know, preach this on my channel because I just think it is such an important skill. Now, there's two courses that I'm going to recommend. This first one is just a SQL course. It's querying Microsoft SQL Server with Transact SQL. The SQL has something called T-SQL. It goes a little above and beyond what other versions of SQL have. I have used T-SQL a lot in my career. I love it and I recommend it. Now, uh, this one specifically is not for data analysts. It goes above and beyond what a data analyst would ever need to know. And in fact, let's really quickly go down here. Um, a lot of these things like summarizing and ordering data, uh, adding a second table. Let's go down here. Implementing try catch throw. Probably not something that you'll do. Uh, ranking functions you might use. Uh, spatial aggregates. And then there are things like subqueries, with statements, CTEs, all things that you need to know, functions. But again, it goes above and beyond. You're going to be doing things like managing transactions, um, creating indexes, things that most data analysts will never do. I myself learned a lot from this, and I was able to kind of communicate better with the database developers and data engineers that I've worked with. So again, even though this goes above and beyond what you need, you still can learn a lot from it. This other one, and this is the other SQL course that I recommend, is MySQL. So before we were looking at Microsoft SQL Server, this one is MySQL. This is taught by 365 Careers or 365 Data Science. Um, and this one is MySQL for Data Analytics and Business Intelligence. So this one is much more focused on data analytics, but doesn't go as in-depth as the last course does. So, you know, just kind of take note and see which one fits best for you. But let's scroll down here really quickly because you're going to learn a lot of the basics, a lot of the select statements, aggregate functions, and you do learn about joins, subqueries, self joins, and all these different things, as well as window functions. But the thing that really separates it is that it shows you how to combine SQL with Tableau. That's where that business intelligence piece comes in. So it's going to show you how to connect SQL and allow you to basically take data sets from SQL and use in Tableau in your visualizations, which is something that you actually do as a data analyst. So again, both of these courses, highly recommend. I've taken both of these many times. I'm obsessed with SQL, um, but these are two of the best courses that I have personally taken on SQL on Udemy. And so either one of these will be fantastic for you, I promise. The next skill that we want to learn in this, you know, curriculum that we are creating is Excel. Now, from my experience, Maven Analytics has some of the best Excel tutorials and courses that I have found on Udemy. And there's two that I recommend. You do not have to take both of them, but I'm going to show you this one first, and then I'll show you the next one. This one is data analysis with Excel pivot tables. Now, pivot tables are pretty important. Uh, you know, you use them a lot as a data analyst. <clears throat> I know I have used them a lot. But the other one, this is probably the, if you are just going to choose one of these, this is the one that I would take. But the pivot tables one is a great kind of added bonus if you want to learn Excel even more in depth. This one is Microsoft Excel, Advanced Excel Formulas and Functions. This one is the one that I would recommend starting out with because formulas and functions are what you're going to use most of the time when you're first starting out as a data analyst. You're just basic functions, basic calculations, and then building those into pivot tables and kind of more advanced things. So these two, you know, in conjunction work really, really well. But if you're only going to take one, I would take this one. Now, something I haven't even talked about yet is the price. And let me just go back really quickly. Uh, you'll notice this is $18. We also have $13 on this first one, so or $14. The next one is 
And then for this one, we have 20 for the pivot tables and then 18 for the formulas and functions. So as you're building this out, you if you take all of these, it's gonna be more than $75. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, but don't do that. Just take one of these. If you take this $12 one, the MySQL one, so if you take this MySQL one, that's $12, and then you just take this Excel formula one, that's 18, that's $30 right there. So that's two courses for $30, you're gonna learn you know, two skills. The next skill that we need to learn is a BI tool. Now, you can take any BI tool, that's up to you. And there are a lot out there, trust me, there's not just the ones that we're looking at today, but these are the some of the biggest ones, the ones that I usually recommend people start out with, which is Tableau and Power BI. So I'm gonna show you one of each, and you can just choose which one you want and add that to your curriculum. Again, this is for you. You can build this out however you want. So let's go into this one. This is the Power BI A to Z hands-on Power BI training for data science. This one clocks in at $12. So one of the cheaper ones. And this one was fantastic for me personally because when I started using Power BI, it was at my last job and my last full-time job. And I had never used uh, Power BI until I got into that job. So I wanted to learn Power BI and this is literally the only one or the first of like two or three that I own, I've ever taken. This is the only one that I've ever recommended because this one was really good. The other course that you can take is Tableau. And this is the Tableau 2022 A to Z. I have a feeling this will be updated in 2023. It was literally updated last month. So it was updated really recently, but I'm sure there'll be a 2023 version eventually. Be on the lookout for that. This one is $13.99. And this one was a fantastic Tableau one that I first took, even though I hadn't started using it in my job. But when I did start using it, this really came in handy. I took it several times. I loved it. I mean, you're going to basically learn a lot of the basics as well as from what I believe some of the more advanced things um, because I really never got super far away in my real job from things like bar charts and, um, you know, pie charts, unfortunately, um, and scatter plots. Those are the ones that I used the most. And this one goes way above and beyond that and, you know, calculated fields and everything else in Tableau that you can learn. So if you're wanting to learn Tableau or Power BI, these are the two that I would learn. Uh, they are gonna go really in depth into both of these. You most likely won't use all of it, just like that SQL course that we were talking about. You're most likely not gonna use all of this, but you at least have learned it and can use it if you need to use it. The very last skill that we're gonna take a look at is Python. I usually recommend it in that order. SQL, Excel, BI tool, Power BI or Tableau, and then Python at the end. I don't, for most people, recommend learning Python at the beginning, but you can learn Python through just this course right here, and you'd be pretty set. Um, but it is fairly just Python in general. You're not learning data analysis per se. Let's take a look at it really quickly. This is the complete Python bootcamp from zero to hero in Python. A uh, bit re repetitive with a Python, but this is from Jose Portilla. I've taken almost every single one of his courses, every single one, many times. Um, and he's just a fantastic instructor. He gets to the point. He teaches it really, really well. So this is the one that I typically will recommend. Um, there was a previous version that I recommended. This is the updated version. So I, this is the one that I recommend you taking. Um, let's go down really quickly to what you're going to learn. Um, because... A lot of these things are things that you should know, but you may not use. Things like generators and decorators, not things that you'll probably use as a data analyst, but things like web scraping with Python, which has an hour and 40 minutes of content there. You're going to use that at some, most people, most data analysts are gonna use that at some point. Um, and working with PDFs. Now notice you're not really seeing anything about, you know, pandas or matplotlib or seaborn or all those other packages with, um, you know, that data analysts would typically use in Python. This is more of a holistic, you know, take this course if you want to learn Python. This next one, which is another Jose Portia course, is learning Python for data analysis and visualization. So if you've already learned Python, this is basically going to be your next step. Or you can also just take this as is because there is kind of um, an introductory, you know, building up into it with Python. So you don't have to start with the other one. You could just take this one. This one's $15. Last one is 18, just because it's larger, I believe. So uh, this one's $15. So let's take a look really quickly at 
what we could build with just these courses. Let's say we wanted to take this one. This is 12. Then we just take this one. So that's 30 total now. Then we have, let's say I want to do Tableau. Tableau is 14. So now we're at $44. And then for the last one, we do 15. So that's, what is that? Uh, 59? Is it? Is my math bad on this? It says $60. Uh, so you can legitimately get it under 60. I believe I said 75 because some of these other ones are more expensive. Um, but if you stick with just those ones, you're looking at $60. I mean, that is insane. And you can take these uh, basically whenever you want. I have taken uh, every single one of these I've taken myself. But some of these I've done three or four or five times through because I just needed to, like I was working and as I was working my job, I wanted to take it again to learn it better. So like some of these I've taken through four or five times. So you were like really, really, really getting your money's worth for $60. Like this is, uh, this is insane. I, I spent hundreds of dollars on Udemy because I like taking different courses. Uh, I had a job at the time that I could take more courses. But if you, you know, if you're just looking for $60, that's an amazing deal. Like just absolutely phenomenal. One thing to note is you will see right here, like this is originally 119 or 120 and you're getting it for 88% off. Um, I do not recommend you buying it at full price because they have a lot of sales. Well, you'll get it for 88% off. So wait for those sales. They typically come around holidays and sometimes they just have like pop-up sales uh, and they also have coupons. So you can go and usually find a coupon for like your first course or things like that. So you know, you can, for the price of $120, you can buy this entire data analyst curriculum through twice. So just be patient, look for coupons, um, and you can find these at good deals. And for $15 for this course, it's just amazing that you can find it at this price. I mean, thank goodness for you and me. Uh, you can just, you have access to just about anything these days for a good price. So that is our DIY data analyst curriculum using Udemy. And we did it for under $60, but plus tax, it's like 65, but for sure under $75, just an absolute steal. So I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you now have your curriculum laid in place on Udemy and you can you know, build that and take that as you go and learn all of those skills to help you become a data analyst in 2023. Huge shout out to Udemy for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.